Namaste, Ashe. Welcome back to my channel where we drop heavy science of cold healing. Thank you for returning. And all my new uh my new viewers, please subscribe. There's gonna be a lot of good information. Um spiritual, you know, health wise, psychology, all that good stuff. Um also before I start this video off, as you guys know, anybody interested in astrology readings, tarot readings, um the how to make money from home session, uh, the 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 hypnosis the hypnosis sessions that I provide, um, and also the detox sessions. Um, my link, I mean my email will be in the description of this video. So all you guys interested in those services, go to uh, my email in the description of this video. It's a coat healing twenty two at gmail dot com. Okay, so I'm gonna. I want to. Uh, this is a very, very important video, so uh, I'm, I'm going to need you guys to really pay attention to really, you know, really take heed to what I'm about to say because um, there's an epidemic going on right now. There's a plague um, that's been happening for a while, but it's really, really starting to, you know, rise. Um, so uh, hold on one second, guys. So what I'm going to talk about is the estrogen. Academic, okay, epidemic, epidemic, <laughs> okay, because this there is an overabundance of estrogen. Again, if you guys don't know, you know, estrogen, the female hormone, you know, testosterone, and masculine hormone. Um, of course, we all have these, but right now, there's so many things that are pushing estrogen levels, um, too much in men and also too much in women. Okay, and this is responsible for a lot of stuff going wrong. Um, a lot of people having all this anxiety and all this depression, all this lack of, uh, all this weight gain and all this lack of determination and all this stuff. We're gonna get into all this. Okay, I'm gonna uh, first of all, I'm gonna tell you um, the effects of too much estrogen in men and women. All right. And these are just some of the effects. I mean, this is a real, real big, a real big epidemic, <laughs> epidemic going on right now. It's like a plague. OK, because you got to think about it, guys. There's a reason why they're not pushing testosterone on everybody, because that wouldn't make sense. Because, again, if you're you got to think about it, guys, if you're trying to control a society, right? You wouldn't you wouldn't push a bunch of testosterone on them because that's going to make them want to fight back. That's going to give them energy too much. Matter of fact, even you can have too much testosterone and be overly aggressive, you know, but that's a whole nother story. We don't need to talk about that because that's not the case. It's too much estrogen, which is causing refusion, lack of determination, weight gain, slothness, fatigue. I mean, we're going to get into it. OK, but I just want you guys to keep pay attention to these things. I'm going to tell you the effects between men and women. I'm going to tell you the main causes of too, having too much estrogen in your body. Then I'm going to give you some solutions. Okay. So too much estrogen in the body for men. This causes infertility, erectile dysfunction. Um, it actually makes your penis smaller. <laughs> okay. So that's another thing. It makes your penis smaller. All right. Weakness, fatigue, loss of inspiration, hair loss, muscle loss, skin problems, um, oversensitivity. That's a big one. Women been asking, why are, why are men so overly sensitive today in today's generation? An over imbalance of estrogen. Okay, loss of determination and being in a constant fear state, a f you know, fear state. All right. Now, the effects for women, depression. Anxiety, loss of sex drive, loss of interest in sex altogether, menstrual problems, which is a real, real big thing. Okay, coming from somebody who, who's always constantly helping somebody, that, you know, a lot of the the women that come to me for help, not necessarily for for that, not necessarily for that problem, but they always mention menstrual problems. Okay, if you have if you have your menstrual over three days, that's a problem. You have an issue. And that, I mean, again, that's just, that's just the facts, guys. Some say even if you have it over two days, all right, if you have your, your period or your menstrual over two days, that's some, um, 
but again, it's two or three days. If you have it over the net, then there's an issue. Okay. So, uh, like I said, depression, anxiety, loss of sex drive, loss of interest in sex altogether, menstrual problems, weight gain, mood swings is another big one. Okay. Um, having too much uh, estrogen in the blood for women, it makes you feel like you're crazy. All right. That's another thing that I hear a lot from my women clients. They feel like they're just bipolar. They feel like they're going. That's over estrogen levels. When you feel like you need to type, talk to a psychiatrist. I mean, some people do, but a lot of times it's over estrogen levels. OK, uh, skin problems, sleeping problems and bloating, which is another big one. Uh, like so many people are even men, too, is just have this. You know, the gut is just so messed up. The stomach, the digestive system is so messed up at high estrogen levels. OK, now now I'm going to get into the things that cause high estrogen levels. OK, some of you, you guys going to be surprised because the number one biggest, uh, the number one thing that has the most estrogen that's causing all the problems. You guys are going to laugh. Meat products, meat products. You guys don't believe me? Look it up, okay? Has the highest amount of estrogen in it. Not naturally. It's because of human beings pumping animals with hormones. What do you think you're eating when you eat that animal that's been pumped with hormones? So let me tell you something, guys. If you haven't been, if you're eating meat, right? I don't eat meat, but for those, and I'm not judging anybody who does, but if you're not eating meat that's organic, and grass fed you're getting an abundance of estrogen levels so all you macho men out there that love talk you know they used to make fun of people like me who didn't eat steak well let me tell you something um that's <laughs> that's the last who gets the last laugh right so meat products all that processed meat all that uh everything especially beef beef is the number one beef and pork okay these have the highest amount of estrogen levels because Human beings, again, are pumping these animals with hormones. You are what you eat. You take in those hormones as well. So, again, all you macho men out there always like to talk about people who don't eat steak, men who don't sit on the couch all lazy watching football and, uh, and eating steak with the fat bellies and drinking beer, all that yeast from the beer. <laughs> I'm going to get into that. <laughs> okay. That's the, that's the number one problem for high est high estrogen levels. Okay, the second, you know, the second highest problem for high estrogen levels is soy. Guys, look at the back of your foods before you eat them. Soy is in everything. Okay, soy is like birth control pills. <laughs> like some, so you know, uh, um. Some people make fun of, you know, vegan men because they start eating a lot of soy burgers and drinking soy milk to all that estrogen levels. I do not touch soy. OK, when I went when I first I I already knew about soy a long time ago. And a lot of you um, people into weightlifting and stuff like that, a lot of you uh, most likely know about the harmful effects of soy. Soy just destroys testosterone. OK, and then for women, like I said, it's just too much circulating in the bloodstream, too much in your DNA, making you feel crazy. Soy and everything. Stay again. I'm not telling you to stay away from this stuff. I'm just giving you the facts. You guys can do what you want to do, but I'm, I'm staying away from soy. OK, um, another thing is all these fake lotions and shampoos and soaps and stuff, all these things have all these chemicals that produce estrogen in the blood. That, that soap, that lotion, remember, it go, it seeps into your bloodstream, guys. You think, I, I don't know what people think about the human body, but whatever you put on your skin, your face, whatever seeps into your bloodstream. All right, so all those chemicals from the fake soaps, shampoos, and, and lotions all produce high estrogen levels. Um, there's all natural soaps, all natural shampoos, all natural lotions. Okay, for my as far as lotion, I use coconut oil or shea butter. All I use raw shea butter or coconut oil. Okay. Um so uh next thing, the next the third thing that causes high estrogen levels is cigarettes. Okay, like 
cigarettes. I don't even need to go into this. I mean, because cigarettes have so many just, it's just so much stuff. <laughs> okay, like, you know, I just don't, I don't get it myself. So I'm not even going to spend time on cigarettes. But yeah, that's the third highest thing on the list as far as estrogen levels. All your cigarette smokers, I don't even know why you smoke cigarettes at all anyway. It's not like, it's not like, you know, weed or something you can get, enjoy it, get high. I don't even know. So again, uh, excuse me, guys, you cigarette smokers, because I don't know. I'm not, I just don't get it. <laughs> okay. The, ne the next highest thing is sugar. Okay. I want you guys to look this stuff up because you can look up the scientific reasons of why I'm not going into all that. I'm just giving you the things that causes that cause high estrogen levels. OK, so sugar. All right. The next thing is uh, plastic bottles, which I'm a uh, I'm a victim of this myself. You know, I'm, I'm sure you guys probably seen me drinking water out of plastic bottles. Um, but. You know, that's one of my downfalls. Out of everything on this list, plastic bottles is one of them. And um, I have another one I'll let you guys know. Uh, yeah, plastic bottles, you know, like, you know, uh, where you store your food in and also water. You know, that's my problem. I drink a lot of bottled water. But again, I do a lot of the stuff that that takes estrogen out the body. So I do, you know, but we'll keep going forward. Canned foods cause high anything canned unless it says bp what is it bph free that's the same thing with the plastic bottles the same chemical bph that causes high estrogen levels so canned foods unless it says bph free same thing with the bottles you know i mean it all depends on you know i know a lot of that is hard to find not with the canned food there's a lot of canned foods that's starting to say bph free okay another another thing is candia growth all right, now this, um, this is all that bacteria that's stored up. This comes from yeast. Candida growth comes from overabundance of yeast. So all you beer drinkers, all you people who love bread and stuff, all that yeast, all right, overabundance of yeast causes, you know, candida growth, and then it messes up your digestive system. But here's the thing. Um, what can cure candida growth? is diatomaceous earth, all right? Which I'm gonna have that in the description of this video, okay? I'm gonna have a link to diatomaceous earth food grade. If you guys get diatomaceous earth, you wanna make sure it's food grade. You take a tea, you take a tablespoon of that a day. Um, after like a like two weeks, it's getting all that candy out of your body, all right? And not only that, parasites and all that stuff, but I'm gonna get to more about that. Um, the next thing is stress, okay? All you people that are stressed out at your job all the time, you know, uh, not only that, but people that are around electronics too much, this causes stress in the body, all right? I told you, you know, I would, you know this whole reason why I came out with the how to make money from home session is to load, I mean, not only to free you, Okay, so you can start bringing in your own income, multiple streams of in multiple streams of income, so you can focus on the things that you love to do. Um, but also to lower your stress level. Some of you guys hate your jobs. All right, well you got to make a stand. You got to start somewhere. Okay, some of you guys complain and complain, but opportunity right there for you. You get the session, and of course you got to start building it up. You got to take the initiative. But a lot of you guys don't have the initiative because you're too much estrogen level. So there we go. But stress. Next thing is birth control. Okay. Birth control. I mean, obviously, you know, <laughs> that's pretty obvious. But yeah, this is a big problem. It's going to make you, you know, and I know that's a touchy subject for a lot of women, right? Because some women say, oh, I'm on birth control because of my menstrual problems. Well, the menstrual problems are because of the estrogen. And guess what? You're putting more of that estrogen when you take birth control all right there's natural ways i'm not going to get in that into that into this video um natural ways next one is fast food self-explanatory all your fast food all your mcdonald's burger king you want to know why it's because of the oil they use vegetable oil it's not vegetable oil like okay for all you people that have vegetable oil vegetable oil in your house right now i want you to go go to the kitchen take the vegetable oil out and look at the ingredients what you're going to see is soybean oil 
it's not vegetable oil it's bean oil it's soybeans okay so that's what it is like i don't know and then and they got a nerve to have on the vegetable oil all the little all the fruits and i mean all the vegetables on the front lying to you guys i tell people you gotta look at the ingredients of your food all right look at the ingredients so vegetable oil look at the back it's going to say soybean oil they're lying to you okay substitute this with avocado oil avocado oil is the best oil to cook with okay olive oil too but um not necessarily all right because and same thing with coconut oil i know people talk about yes cook with coconut oil cook with olive oil you know um olive oil is good too but when you heat it too much it becomes toxic okay so avocado oil is the best or like sesame seed oil um i'm trying to think of something else uh sunflower seed oil so sunflower seed oil sesame seed oil uh and avocado oil are the oils best to cook with okay now the last thing um is alcohol abuse alcohol abuse okay high estrogen levels that's why you start gaining weight now i partake in drinking spirits still okay so that's what i said the plastic bottles and also the spirit intake again for other reasons because you know it's i'm an alchemist as well alchemist alcohol same thing we're talking about alcohol abuse guys we're talking about you guys that need to drink every single day every single weekend that's alcohol abuse take it in moderately same thing with you weed smokers right everybody loves to talk about the benefits of weed right but marijuana abuse has toxic effects to your body especially if you're smoking it and stuff like blunts <laughs> Get a vaporizer, guys. All you weed smokers out there, vaporize. That's the only way you're, you're going to get 100% of the health benefits and none of the toxicity is if you vaporize it. The moment you start burning the plant, you get the toxicity. That's the facts, okay? If you smoke it in a blunt, you're just, you might as well smoke cigarettes, <laughs> okay? All you, uh, and it, it, if you don't like vaporizers, then the next best thing is like bowls and, you know, maybe it, maybe even a bong. As long as you're staying away from blunts, all right? That's cigar paper. People don't inhale cigars, all right? I should tell you something. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that's all the things that, I mean, of course, there's some small, other small things, but these are the main things that cause overproduction of estrogen levels like i said meat products is the number one if you don't believe me look it up meat beef pork um all all the stuff all the meat that's not organic and grass-fed point blank period all right because some of you guys whenever you say hold on what about fish fish causes high estrogen levels too because it's high in heavy metals mercury lead these all um these all produce higher estrogen levels in your body. So even fish, guys, even your seafood, okay? If it's not organic, then um, there's a problem with that. Like I said, I'm not here to destroy your, you know, the meat lovers or anything. I'm not here to start a war. I'm just saying if it's not organic, it's higher in estrogen levels. That's the facts, okay? Now, um, I'm going to get into some solutions, okay? And... I do all these things, all right? First solution is a supplement called DIM. That's D-I-M, okay? This helps regulate estrogen levels in women, and it helps eliminate estrogen from men, all right? A powerful, powerful supplement. I'm going to put this supplement that I use in the description of this video. You can go straight to Amazon and get this, okay? But DIM is, a, and a lot of, again, a lot of you guys who are into weightlifting and building testosterone. Some of you guys might already know this, who take DIM products. Like I said, D-I-M. Um, it stands for something way larger than that, but I'm not going to try to pronounce that word, you guys. know I have a problem with pronouncing words. So DIM, I'm going to have the supplement that I use in the description of this video. The next thing uh, is green juice, all right? Juice and greens like kale, spinach, broccoli, um, cucumbers 
I do that. That's the that's the green juice that I drink every single day. It's kale, uh, it's kale, spinach, broccoli. Oh uh, yeah, kale, spinach, broccoli. What else? Uh, cucumbers, limes, and and usually two green apples. That's my green juice. All right. Again, why? It's because see, this is high and also high in dim. Green foods are high in dim. Again, I don't know. I can't pronounce the whole exact word. The chem, whatever it is, but green juice will get all that estrogen out of your body. Okay. The next thing is detoxing at least once a year. Detoxing the body. All right. Um, I to and, and a lot of you guys are not detoxing the correct way. This is another reason why I have this session on how to detox properly. All right. So all you guys wanting to know how to detox and effectively get estrogen out your body. Again, my email is in the description of this video, occulthealing22 at gmail.com. I'll have, we'll do a live session and I'll give you step by step everything that you need to do to effectively detox. Okay. To effectively recharge your body the way the ancients did. Like I said, a lot of you guys are doing it totally wrong, and that's why it's not really doing anything for you. You're not, you know, that, and you got to feel like you de you got to detox all the time. I have some of you guys uh, that hit me up, say, hey, I, I usually go on a detox every two months, you know, and even with the, uh, the individual who I tell you guys to get detoxes from, she even put on her website detox like once every five months or something like that. That's too excessive. The reason why you feel like you have to detox that much is because you're not doing it right in the first place. All right. You should be good. After after a proper detox, you, you should feel good for the next five years. But what you want to do is keep doing it at least once a year, though. All right. So if you feel like you got to detox again next week after you just got finished doing it, that means you didn't do it right. You, you didn't you didn't get it out your body right. So again, to properly learn how to detox, um, book a session with me. The detox session, occulthealing22 at gmail.com. My email is in the description of this video. The last thing that you can do is simply lose weight. Estrogen um, sticks to fat cells. Okay, so exercising, losing weight, cutting out, cutting fat off your body will literally get rid of estrogen as well. So if you do all this, if you take the DIM supplement, take green, you know, juice your greens um, consistently, detox once a year and exercise consistently, you'll, this is what I said, you'll get away from this epidemic of, of the estrogen, the estrogen plague. Because again, you know, of course, we can't stop everything because even just some of the chemicals in the air produces higher estrogen levels. But that's why I said, come at, cut out most of these things, do the solutions that I just gave you. Then you're fighting back. All right. You're fighting back against the system. All right. Again, it's not a front face to face war. All right. It's a spiritual war. It's a chemical war, guys. I want you guys to look at exactly what's going on. We're in a chemical war, a spiritual war. All right. Some of you guys are waiting for them to pull out the guns and shoot everybody. That's not going to happen. OK, we're already we're already we've been at war for the last how many years? I don't even know. <laughs> OK, so. um, Again, all you guys want the astrology readings, tarot readings, how to make money from home session, the hypnosis sessions. Um, and also the detox sessions. And like I said, the mentorships, I'm doing mentorships now too. All right. One of the biggest things for your success in life period is having a mentor. Some of you guys, you know, um, I don't know. Again, that's the, that's the biggest thing that helped me out is finding a mentor. I've had a mentor. Um, he's 60, 64 years old, knows a lot, keeps me on track, keeps me focused, um, and you need that, you know, in the old, in ancient times, the elders was there, you know, and people that were higher than you were there. They were helping you out. All right. Now everybody's kind of disconnected, you know, and the Internet's making it only worse. Right. We're we're connecting around the world, but it's like we're disconnected physically. All right. So even so, we're disconnected physically. You can still have a mentor. Again, I'm doing the mentorships where we can talk once a week. 
no uh, there's no time limits to my sessions or anything but again the emails in the description if you're interested in that stuff any questions concerning psychology spirituality health put them in the comments of the videos guys um only email me with questions as concerning the uh questions concerning the, the consultations okay because i have somebody handling my emails all right so i'm watching the comments comment all your questions in the in the comment section of the videos also again let me let me know what you guys want me to speak about in the next videos coming up all right so I hope this information information was helpful. Again, check the description of this video for my email for uh, the diatomaceous earth, the, the dim products. Um, also, there's other links to other uh, services from other companies and, and entrepreneurs that are out there to help you out. Again, the opportunities here, there's so much help for you. You don't have to you know, try to do this alone. Again, you're not alone. We're building the community. Also, all you entrepreneurs, all you people that have services, all you people that are selling things, contact me um, because I want to shout you out in the video so you can get more clients. Okay, so you guys got to build your stuff up, right? I haven't been getting hardly anybody hitting me up with their services or business or anything. You know, that lets me know that, uh, that uh, you know, a lot of people are not doing what they need to do. All right. You got potential. It's time to step up the game and, and get things done. All right. So you don't have to rely on people. We can rely. We're all in the same playing field and we we build as a community. But again, in the age of Aquarius, everybody has to hold their own weight. You have to bring something to the table. OK, you can't just ask for something anymore. That's the age of Pisces. That's the that's the age that we're coming out of. All right. As you see, all you people in America, as you see, these Republicans are about to slice all that government assistance up because that's age of Pisces stuff. Now you got to now you got to it's more strict because the age of Aquarius is an air sign. It's masculine sign. And it's all about having everybody on a level playing field. So all the people up here is going to start to come here. All the people that's down here is going to start to come here. But the access is going to stay up there. And the other access from down here. All the people are just low are going to get pushed out, pushed out. All right. So that's just what happens in so-called evolution, right? The species or whatever, they can't evolve and change. They get pushed out. And that's going to happen in the next five to 10 years. I'm trying to warn you guys. All right. Um, also, September 22nd is coming up. The fall equinox. This is where all your energy is at. So like I said, get these sessions, guys. Now, start working on the stuff that I'm giving you now so you can get that energy, so you can get something to come to you. Good karma. I know you've been going through so much, right? Now you can get something good coming to you. You got to take advantage of this stuff, all right? So I'll leave you in peace. Namaste. Ashe. Keep your vibrations high, everybody. I'm with you. I love you. Continue to love yourself and continue to grow in this journey. I'm out.